Hello, what is up? We're gonna create a health bar and stuff. We're gonna create the damage and health system and an explosion for the death. Yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> Let's get started. All right. Let's go into our third person character first. Blueprints, BP third person character and get to the line trace by channel. If you just drag off this out hit, you're gonna get a break hit result. Just hit that down arrow there and the hit actor is what we're looking for. So just drag off of that. And what we want is event any damage. Not event any damage, we're dealing the damage, we're applying the damage, so apply damage. My bad. We're going to give the enemy the event any damage. That there. And let's make this like 10. 10. Oh, we have a boolean here. Oops. Okay. So boolean. Just create a branch. And if it is true, it will apply damage. If the actor is hit, it will apply damage. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right, so like I was saying, go to the enemy now. Out of here into my enemy folder, into my BP enemy. I'm gonna delete these for now because we're just gonna take event. Any damage was another built-in function, just like the apply damage. But this one is taking the damage. So we're gonna take a branch. Let's create the variables. Let's create health. And let's create max health, max health. So on event any damage, if this is true, can't see what I'm doing, true. <laughs> If this is a, uh, if, if it is true, but branch, we're gonna set the new health. So the damage is going to be the health minus the damage. So the current health, which is I think compile, We'll say like 50. So it's gonna be 50. And then when it takes damage, in our case, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be 10. It'll set that new one to the set health. So it'll be 40. And the condition for this is we want it to be greater than zero. Otherwise, it's not going to take damage because it's dead already. Greater than zero. So the health greater than zero, it's not going to take damage anymore. But if it is dead, so it's going to be the set health is less than or equal to zero, it's now going to be dead. So if that is true, true I, I, I did it again i did it again all right uh hook up this into the condition the boolean if it is if the set health is less than or equal to zero then it'll be dead which isn't a built-in function so we need to create that function uh just get a custom event we're going to add a custom event and this custom event is going to be we'll just call it death and then if we go up here under the true, we're just gonna call that function death. So if this is true, it's gonna go down here to this custom event we just created. But let's first set all the other stuff first. Now oh, this is still invisibility. Uh, let me change this line trace channel thing. Uh, let's go into project settings, 
edit project settings go i don't know what thing it's under so just search for collision trace maybe trace channel yes trace channel uh new trace channel and we're going to call it projectile projectile and the default response is going to be block, which is good. Uh, we'll just fix it for the capsule. Because when the projectile hits this capsule, uh, I'm in BPM in enemy right now. Uh, go into the capsule component and Hit collision, collision. That's not how you spell collision. And under the collision presets, we're gonna change this to custom because by default for the capsule component, it's on block. So custom, and then we're gonna change that collision for projectile to ignore. So it goes, doesn't hit the capsule at all. You might even say it ignores it. So back to the BP third person, we actually need to change our trace channel. So change it to projectile. And I'm even gonna change the, the collision on my third person's thing to also ignore on projectile. So we did that. Let's go back to the enemy. Let's set this death function up. So we're going to spawn an emitter at the location that it died. And it's going to be an explosion. Let's make it an explosion. Explosion, we're going to double it. Just everything two, two, two. This is just the scale of the explosion. That's how big the explosion is. And then we're gonna destroy the actor. Just for these tower defense games, it's easier just to like destroy the character. Otherwise they kind of block them off if you ragdoll them. And I also don't want to like a, a thousand bodies right in the middle of the path. So let's get the mesh and let's get the world world rotate or location location of the mesh. And that's going to be the place where it spawns the emitter and then it destroys and it'll do that pretty much simultaneously. All right. Um it's about time I Checked on my old shooting. And it was kind of hard to see because I had a bunch of traces going through, but it blew up. <laughs> just, take, just take my word for it. Uh, that is kind of it's kind of far off, right? Let me let me fix that real quick. Let me take a look at what I'm doing here. Um, 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 yeah, let me triangulate this better. Get world location. And then I'll just add that on there. Add. Whatever. Cool. File save, save, all right. Nice. All right. Cool, done. Fix something else that I messed up earlier. <laughs> uh, let's create the health bar. Go into HUD.
widget blueprint, user widget, and widget blueprint underscore health bar. Sure. <laughs> just gonna dock this up here. All right, so this should be pretty simple. Just need a canvas, canvas panel and a progress bar, progress bar. I'm gonna anchor that to the center. I'm gonna zero both of these out. And as you know, it never centers properly unless you 0.5 it. 0.5 for the alignment, 0.5 for the alignment. Right in the center, perfect. So let me rename this to health bar. I'm just gonna call it everything health bar. Uh, let's widen this out on the X axis. Looks fine. Let's make it red. Okay. Uh, if you drag on the percent, it, you can see the color red and you can see like how it affects it when it gets damaged. All right, compile and save that. Is there anything else I need from this? Or need to do? No, I don't think so. Uh, I'll leave it open just in case. Ye okay, let's start up here. Uh, event. Be in play. Event begin play, we're gonna have it cast on the begin play. We're just gonna get the health bar, wait a second. Let me see how this looks first. Let me get the health bar on here. Widget. Uh, I'm gonna call it health bar. <laughs> I'm, naming, I'm naming too many things health bar. It's gonna mix me up later. Uh, widget class is going to be our WB health bar. I'm gonna drag it up here. That's enormous. Let's scale this down. And sideways. That looks kind of big still. Now yeah, we'll see how it looks. Event graph, let's begin play by casting to Drew in the blank. Uh, the health bar up here. <laughs> and we can get this health bar and get user widget object. And just promote this to a variable so we can use that later. So let's get the event tick. And event tick just happens every tick. So it's just constantly happening. Drag off the variable we just created. Uh, so it constantly updates. That's what I meant to say in proper words. <laughs> uh, let's get the, oh my gosh, I called everything health bar. I'm, I think it's this, get health bar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And then we're gonna set the percent for the health bar. Yeah, so that is the right one because it wouldn't have worked otherwise. Uh, percent is just going to be your health divided by the max health. And that'll give you, divide, that'll give you a decimal, which it uses as a percent. So one is 100. So this will just give you the proper percentage if I actually added the max health, which I didn't. Did I even create? Yeah, I did. All right, cool. Good tick, set percents, and that should be it for the actual setting up of the thing, right? Yeah.
Oh. I need to make sure I gotta I gotta make it so it rotates towards me. So if you go back into the enemy, we're just gonna set the world rotation. Set world rotation health bar. Set world rotation for the health bar. And then we're going to need to get the world location. Get world location of the actual health bar for the look rotation. So it's gonna be uh, it's is it fine fine look at fine look at rotation. There we are. And so now we need to get the character that's looking at them, and we're just gonna get that through the camera. So get player camera manager. And then off of that, you want to get world location, location. Uh, get world location of the camera manager. And it'll always face the character. Yeah, that makes that makes sense to me. Doesn't mean it's gonna work, but. All right, works. And you definitely saw that explosion. All right. Do we need anything else? No, I think, I think that's it. I just wanted to create the health bar and all that other stuff. All right. Bye. <laughs> See you in the next one.